Many thanks for staying with us, everyone. Uh, for an administration that wants to fight corruption to its knees, one then must wonder where uh, it leaves that government when the anti graft buzz does not pass the screening of the National Assembly and of sanctity now overs over that seat. We've been talking to Senator Dino Melaye, uh, who was active in that screening, and Mr. Wahab Shitu, a Nigerian lawyer. Many thanks for, for staying with us. Let me come back to you quickly, um, uh, Senator Melaye. With what is on the ground, you have said that the Senate or you did not vote against Mr. Magu based on the DSS report. And one we wonder, is it oratory that you're looking at in the judgment of uh, the capacity of who occupies the office of the EFCC chairman or what? Yeah, basically for anyone who will be the chairman of the EFCC must not only be intellectually mobile, but must be exceptionally intelligent because everything you're doing has to do with intelligence. And um, the reason for sending um, all nominees um, for the office of the chairman of EFCC to the Senate is for us to assess them and assess if they have the capacity and capability to handle that office. And for example, a question was asked how much he has recovered. He, he, he couldn't tell us. He, and when we're talking about even partly the indictment on the, uh, um, uh, or by, the, by the DSS report, he said he himself, Margo, told us that he acted outside his mandate. He confessed, he said he acted over, uh, outside his mandate. And references were made to um, Section 6 of the EFC Act and other sections of the Act. He could not in any way or manner corroborate even the provisions of those sections. For you to be chairman of the EFCC, from my own point of view, you must have the character, characteristic, and persona of the wife of Caesar. You must be above board. You must be um, uh, untainted. You must be stainless. And from his presentations, he already had a lot of controversial matters surrounding his person and personality. He was arrested, he was detained, he was suspended, up in issue. And why are we shouting as if um, uh, Ibrahim Magu is the last messiah? We have 170 million Nigerians. Are we saying we cannot find one person who have the capacity, the sincerity of purpose, the, 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 uh, all, all the way without to be chairman of EFCC? Sen 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 Are we saying that Sen today? Sen Senator Dino, uh, Senator Dino Malai, just if I may butt in quickly here, position. a guest of mine on this platform had said that if Mr. Magu is presented to the National Assembly a hundred times, he will never be screened because he uh, is, is scares uh, most of the senators uh, who are facing trial, and that's one of the reasons why they may not be able to uh, screen him because they fear uh, his integrity uh, on this job and uh, his profile on the job. Is it true? Sheung, Sheung, I, I, I represent... I I represent Kogi West. I cannot speak for any senator. And Senator Dino Melaye is not facing any trial. I'm not under any court. I am speaking as the representative of Kogi West Senatorial District. And I am telling you that it is even fallacious uh, for anyone to think that Magu can be renominated. President Muhammadu Buhari, a very, very outright, upright Nigerian, uh, somebody I have tremendous respect for, cannot even by the provisions of our laws represent um, Magu. Mm -hmm. Section 131 of the um, rules of the Senate provides as, uh, as follows that once a nominee has been accepted or rejected by the Senate and communication to the President done by the, um, um, the, the clerk of the National Assembly, that nominee cannot be represented to the, to the Senate. The, so that's, 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 that, this, and the, 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 the rules of the Senate derive with powers from the Constitution of the Federal Republic right. of Nigeria. We, 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 Senator Mella, so, we've seen people that have been uh, nominated for screening for three times, uh, about three times. I remember Professor Aborisha. Let me come to uh, Mr. Wahab Shitu here. What? Uh, in, in the face of the law, does the President have the right to represent or uh, nominate Mr. Magu for confirmation? Of course, the, the President has unfettered rights. That is why I, I, I've listened to uh, distinguished Senator Dino Melai. I have a lot of respect for him. But I'm aware that uh, distinguished Senator Dino Melai is not a lawyer. Not at all. Not a lawyer at all. If he, if he were to be a lawyer, they would have allowed himself to be guided by the provisions of Section 11 of the Interpretation Act. 
the, 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 the statute that gives the CDS the powers to confirm is Section 2, Subsection 3 of the EFCC Act, which is an enactment or an act of parliament. And that section, section, section 11 of the Interpretation Act says all enactment, including the EFCC Act, is subject to the Interpretation Act. If, if he has read, of the again, if, if Senator Dino Umilai had taken time to read Section 171 of the Constitution, which is the organic law of the land, the, the uncommanded law. commander, you will have seen that persons occupying in, you know, positions exclusively regarded as inter-ministerial department, which is EFCC, are subject you know, to, to the prerogative of the president. So, that, anybody can, be, can occupy that seat in an acting capacity at the pleasure of the president. For again, an, for, again for, we are talking for, of, for, for an extended yes, time. Yes, it's actually 11 of the interpretation is so clear. There's no, that, that there's, is, there's no retention there's no, of there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no So legally that. speaking, if yes. the president has the right and the, uh, 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 and the room to uh, represent Mr. Magu, does it have the morals? Uh, is there morality around uh, its decision now to represent Mr. Of Mario? course. With all of, of these Okay, if, uh, for instance, let us be very frank. Uh, I listened to Sinoto Dino Melari speak so eloquently and all that. And he was talking about integrity. Now, if you are talking of, will you say somebody who is merely alleged without conclusive proof, without undergoing the trial process, will you say so by, virtue of, by virtue of such allegation alone? The person has integrity deficit? Is he what he's saying? If that is what he's saying, why is the Senate president still presiding over the affairs of the Senate? One of the, the, one of the things that... Mr. Yes, Mellon, no, in spite, in spite of the fact that he is standing trial before the, the Code of Code of Tribunal on grievous allegations bordering on asset declaration, will you say that he's, he's guilty when he has not been pronounced so? What do you, you think see? is the way forward on this? No, matter? the way forward on this is for us to act in the overall national interest. Look at the achievements of Mago for within one year. There is no EFCC chairman who has posted the kind of achievements that Mago has been able to record within one year. Like that would be in, te in terms of loose recovery, but in terms of uh, prosecutions, and uh, let me ask, by virtue of their own standing rules of the Senate, the standing rules of the Senate says, we are any senator, All right. we are yeah. any senator has a peculiar interest in the subject matter of discussion. It is obliged, he or she is obliged to disclose such an interest. Mr. Shitu, let me allow Senator Melaye to give us uh, his closing uh, statement on this matter. You heard what uh, uh, Mr. Wahab Shitu has said here. It, it, it gives one, uh, if the president now comes forward to represent Mr. Magu, what, do you, what, what would you say then? I will be, it will be a pity for the APC and it will be a sad story and a bad day for democracy in this country because to start with, we are talking about a report and in that report, in the response of Mr. Magu to the, to, to the president and even to the minister of um, justice, he admitted that he used the aircraft of Commando Mohammed to Kano and to um, Meduguri that uh, thereby affirming the, partly the report of the DSS. He also admitted um, in, in another portion of that uh, paper um, report that he flew first class against the directive of Mr. President that public office holders should not fly first class, which is also part of the DSS report. Mm. So these are all admittance of the DSS report. And coming to that of the Senate President, these are two separate cases. There is no report indicting the Senate president as we speak. Okay. Uh, but there is a valid report by the DSS, that is our own CIA, that is our own FBI, and a report is a report of an organization like the DSS cannot right. be jettisoned. We, 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 we must leave it at that, uh, Senator Dino Melaye. We are out of time. Many thanks for your thoughts, uh, Senator Dino Melaye, representing Kogi West uh, in the National Assembly. Uh, Mr. Wahab Shitu, always a pleasure uh, having your thoughts on the program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. And that's our show for tonight. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Sean Wakimale. Bye for now.